It never seems to end the many complicated and confusing questions the earth throws at us every day. How can it not? The world is always changing as it travels across the solar system, but stuff like this, huge chambers of stone leading into worlds unknown, or the ground flowing beneath your feet like water, or the laws of gravity not showing up to work at all. And that's only the beginning. Welcome to today's episode, This Place Acts in a Very Mysterious Way. This ice-rich sediments of perennial frozen ground are exposed to ongoing thawing. <laughs> Number 15. Bay of Pigs Crab Migration You don't want to be at the bus stop on these roads. You definitely don't want to drive these highways when it's literally the attack of the crabs everywhere. But believe it or not, this is actually a very natural occurrence that happens regularly. Like once a year regularly. Every spring, after mating season, millions of red, yellow, and black land crabs invade Playa Hiron on the eastern side of the Bay of Pigs in Cuba. After the first heavy spring rains, the crabs march for days from the surrounding forest to the bay on Cuba's coast, wreaking a sort of havoc along the way. The crabs emerge at dawn and dusk and cross coastal roads on their way to spawn from the surrounding forest to the bay to spawn in the sea. After releasing their eggs, the adult crabs return to their forest burrows and the eggs hatch in the sea and later the young return to the forest. The havoc is the hard part though. Not only do many crabs not make it across these roads, this does not threaten the survival of the species. However, their rock-hard pincers cause punctures to many vehicles as they journey through. But for many locals, the crab invasion is good for business. The tourists come in droves to check out the massive crab migration, but they also get lots of flat tires. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Soil liquefaction in Japan. Like the opening scenes of an epic disaster movie, dogs barking nervously, water seeping through small splits in the sidewalk, the earth cracking before our eyes, buildings swaying, splitting at the seams. This was shot during the earthquake in Japan of 2011. You can actually see the ground moving and opening up on this reclaimed land on top of Tokyo Bay and in many spots all over Japan. And this rare occurrence is called soil liquefaction. Heavy sand and rock sinks while water and lighter sand bubbles to the surface. It spreads often toward the water and the surface shifts and all our minds are officially blown. It happens when saturated soil substantially loses strength in response to stress such as shaking during an earthquake. Material that's ordinarily a solid behaves like a liquid. And this happens. It's most often observed in low density or unpacked sandy soils. But it's still scary. Many tourists and locals recorded this extraordinary footage while on a walk through the parks and inspecting the damages after the quake. The scale of Japan's 2011 earthquake and tsunami wasn't the only thing that surprised geologists. It was also the fourth most powerful quake ever recorded. Number 13. Greek Spider Webtown Warmer weather conditions recently in western Greece led to this eerie spectacle. Spider webs hundreds of feet in length in some parts, blanketing the region. Vast areas of greenery have been covered by the superwebs. Roadways, cemeteries, playgrounds, farmland, seashores, you name it, there is a spider web on it. An increase in the mosquito population is thought to have been the culprit behind the rise in the number of spiders. High temperatures, the perfect amount of humidity, and enough food created the ideal conditions for this species, the Tetragnatha spider, to reproduce and spread out in large numbers. They were not joking about the numbers bit. This is an arachnophobe's nightmare. Ironically, the spiders are taking advantage of these perfect web-making conditions and more or less having a kind of spider party. They mate, they reproduce, and provide a whole new generation. You can relax, the spiders will have their party and move on. These spiders are not dangerous for humans and will not cause any damage to the area's flora or fauna. They're always from the same type of spider, a tiny critter less than an inch in length, and their webs often turn into sheet-like covers that are home to thousands of spiders living underneath. Number 12. Brazil's Desert Oasis This is one of Brazil's most captivating national parks. 
a vast area of undulating, swept sand dunes beneath crystal blue rainwater lakes. Located in the state of Modern Yao, the national park is pummeled by rainstorms from January to June every year. The rainwater collects between the sand dunes and a stunning landscape emerges. The definition of oasis. It's covered in thousands of crystal clear lagoons and midnight blue lakes offset by brilliant white dunes baking in the Brazilian sun. Sounds like paradise, right? Well, it looks like it too. If you can carve out the time to travel to this part of the Northeast and spend a few days exploring here, do it. You won't regret it. But getting there is also an incredible journey on land. You'll need a four-wheeler, a tour guide, and it's a popular destination for ecotourism given its unique physical features. And common activities within the park include night sky observation for our UFO lovers, sand surfing, canoeing, camping, horseback riding, and all sorts of off-road shenanigans. Here's a fun fact. The films Avengers Infinity War from 2018 and Avengers Endgame following that use the park's landscape as the planet of Vormir, a distant planet and the resting place of the Soul Stone. Number 11. The Majlis al Jin. In Arabic, the word for genie is al Jin. Majlis means meeting place. So explorers named the cave Majlis al Jin, the meeting place of the genies. Hope you're ready for some serious numbers because the dimension of this place is beyond extra. The cave is located in a remote area of the Selma Plateau at 4,557 feet above sea level, 60 miles southeast of Muscat. It's a single chamber measuring about 1,017 feet by 738 feet with a 393 foot high domed ceiling. And these base jumpers are having the times of their lives. The deepest part of the cave is 585 feet below the top of the highest entrance. Are you ready for some more staggering numbers? It's the second largest cave chamber in the world by surface area, and the base of the cave is 624,000 square feet, the size of nearly 11 football fields. However, the only way to get in is through one of these three tiny openings at the top, all of which have been formed over time as the accumulation of rainwater dissolved the limestone covering. And for obvious reasons, this cave room has become a hotspot for repellers and base jumpers around the globe. Number 10. Pennsylvanian Ringing Rocks Their appearance did a lot to ignite curiosity. Oddly, they're just scattered across a field, as though several dump trucks rolled up one day and just left them there. But they're not what they seem. It's not the way they look that attracts tourists from around the globe to this patch of rocks in Upper Bucks County. It's the way they sound. Yeah, these stones sing. Well, some of them. And for a long time, why these rocks sang was unclear. However, back in 1890, J.J. Ott gave a remarkable concert for the local historical society, the first rock concert. What made the concert remarkable was the instrument J.J. was playing. It was made of these stones that made clear, bell-like tones when struck by a hammer. And that's why people keep coming here to this day. But researchers were curious as to why this phenomenon occurred. In 1965, a group of scientists crushed, broke, and sliced the rocks. After performing numerous tests, they found that while all the rocks do in fact ring, they often do so at tones lower than the human's ear can even perceive. Crazy, right? Though many people are tempted to illegally pocket a ringing rock, it's futile. They lose their musical ability once taken away from the other stones. So you're just going to have to enjoy the stone sounds as they are. Number 9. The Well of Barhout At 100 feet wide and thought to be up to 820 feet deep, local folklore says it was created as a prison for demonic beings. It has foul and toxic odors rising from its depths and has been renamed as the Mouth of Hell, said to be one of the most hated spots in the country. However, there's no denying that the Well of Barhau in Yemen's east is a little understood natural wonder. Some have suggested the hole was a collapsed pingo, an ancient ice formation that collapses and leaves formations like this. And some experts say it's not, but rather a sinkhole caused by the erosion of limestone or moving geological salt or brines. The mystery just gets deeper. There are others who have speculated that this hell well is a supervolcano that will eventually erupt. Rest assured, there's no scientific evidence that that's true. It is in fact, however, that this well is millions and millions of years old and outside of some birds, bugs and some snakes, no life exists inside. 
Yet, over the centuries, stories have circulated of malign supernatural figures known as jinns living in the well. Many local residents remain uneasy about visiting the vast hole for fear of ill fortune from a chasm which, legend has it, threatens life on Earth itself. Number 8. Gobustan Mud Volcanoes Azerbaijan has the most mud volcanoes of any country. 350 of the 700 volcanoes of the world are in this region, and mud volcanoes appeared in this region 25 million years ago, like this one. Located in the mountains here, the Gobustan mud volcanoes were created by the eruption of dirt, water, and gases caused by severe geological processes, but no doubt, a muddy mess. More Mother Nature Magic About 200 eruptions have occurred in 50 of these mud volcanoes here since 1810. Eruption of mud volcanoes is accompanied by strong explosions and underground rumbling. Gases come out from the deepest layers of the earth and immediately ignite. However, mud volcanoes are not true volcanoes. They don't produce lava, but they do have good qualities though. Mud volcanoes components can be used as raw materials for the chemical and construction industries as well as pharmacology reasons. And naturally, it's become a major tourist attraction, the Gobustan National Park. The country's respect for the landmark was made official in 1966 when it was declared a National Historic Landmark. It was declared a World Heritage Site in 2007 and considered to be of outstanding universal value. And we would agree. Number 7. The Mir Diamond Mine The second largest man-made hole in the world is a diamond mine located on the outskirts of Mirni, a small town in eastern Siberia. The diamond mine is more than 1,700 feet deep and has a diameter of 3,900 feet and is one of the largest excavated holes in the world. Excavation of the pit began in 1955 when Stalin ordered the construction of the mine to satisfy the Soviet Union's need for industrial-grade diamonds following the war. The harsh, frozen Siberian landscape made working at the mine a complete nightmare. Jet engines were turned on the unyielding permafrost in order to melt it. When that failed, explosives were used. During its peak years of operation, over 10 million carats of diamonds annually were pulled out of this hole, but that wouldn't last. Although open pit mining has ceased here, mining work is continuing by underground methods. The massive 20-foot tall rock hauling trucks that service the Mirni mine travel along a road that spirals down from the lip of the hole to its basin. Though it has been said that the airspace above the mine is off-limits to helicopters after a few accidents where they were sucked in by the downward airflow, but that's never been confirmed. Number 6. Ladakh Magnetic Hill At this place in India, cars move at a speed of 10 to 20 miles an hour, even in a neutral gear, like some magnetic forces are making this happen. Perched at an altitude of 14,000 feet, Magnetic Hill is one of the most intriguing spots in the country. As for the cars being dragged by some magnetic force, another widely accepted theory says that the hill is no source of super magnet power, rather it's just an optical illusion that makes the downslope of the road leading to the hill look like an upslope. So when you see the vehicle going uphill, it's actually going downhill. This is purely a natural optical effect caused by the specific layout of hills that obstruct the horizon. That short stretch of road that appears to be uphill as a matter of fact is downhill and this is the reason why cars slowly gain momentum. But nonetheless, Magnetic Hill only adds to the beauty of the region and is certainly a thrill to the adventurous travelers. But it has a fascinating legend surrounding it. Villagers residing nearby believe that this was a road that led people to heaven. Those who rightly deserved were pulled to the path directly while those who didn't deserve it, well, they didn't make it. The mysterious monoliths is one of the most popular attractions in the region, but you won't know what's up or down when you visit. Number 5. The Hellmouth Crater Over the last few decades, this rapidly growing crater has shaken the region with terrifying booms. This crater initially began to form in the 1960s after the clearing of forest land. Warming temperatures as a result started causing the layers of soil on the surface and below to sink as the permafrost thawed exposing soil hundreds of thousands of years old and has people around the world wondering what's up. But no matter what the buzz on Siberian street is, scientists have their own concerns regarding the Hellmouth, threats of climate change being the main issue. 
So researchers analyzed the sequence of permafrost deposits and incredibly environmental conditions throughout the years that were previously unknown were revealed. Among the layers, they found the remains of wood, the presence of two forest beds, the lower bed contained actual pollen. Quite a discovery. Welcome to Siberia. This hellmouth crater is now giving scientists a glimpse at 200,000 years of climate history. It stretches more than half a mile long and is nearly 300 feet deep, expanding up to 100 feet each year. Locals are convinced it's the gateway to hell. Number 4. Rock of Al Nasla. This sandstone block is connected to what looks like an eroded natural pedestal, and it's split through the middle by a clean, straight split, as if the rock was sliced with a laser. Now, odd natural occurrences like this might puzzle most of us. Usually, there's a logical explanation. The Al Nasla rock formation, located in Saudi Arabia, is one of these puzzles. The lower section of the block resembles what's called a ventifact, geological formations created by abrasion from wind-blown sand beating against a rock surface. This can create rocks with unusual shapes and very smooth surfaces. Or it could be an old pressure crack that's been pushed then pulled apart some. Or it could be an old fault line, since fault motion often creates a zone of weakened rock that erodes easier than the surrounding rock. Either way, that crack looks laser-guided. Most likely, the ground shifted underneath one of the two supports and the rock split, and the perfect slit between the two standing stones and the flat faces are completely natural. The block is also archaeologically significant because of the ancient rock art that resembles a horse or camel that's engraved onto it. And that's why Al Nasla is one of the most photographed petroglyphs worldwide. Number 3. The Glass Beach of California this beach, adjacent to McCarriter State Park near Fort Bragg, California, is named after a time when it was abundant with sea glass. Those colorful, shiny, and very smooth pieces of glass eroded from life in the ocean. However, it's pretty gnarly how it got there. The sea glass was created from years of dumping garbage into an area of coastline near the northern part of the town. The broken bottles from the garbage cans of local residents transformed into little treasures to be found and photographed and left behind. You're not allowed to remove these shiny little treasures, but that hasn't stopped people. Over the years, thousands of tourists every year have depleted the beach of its namesake glass. It still has a lot, but nothing like it used to. The dump remained until sometime in the 1960s when it was closed and left as a forgotten area. It wasn't until the late 90s that a massive cleanup began, but the broken glass tumbled in the waves and onto the rocky beach, having been worn smooth into colorful bits of glass stone. But no lie, the ocean views are stunning. These rock-crowned, deep blue waters are visited frequently by flocking seagulls, and the scenery and sound of the waves offers visitors a variety of entertainment, from a tranquil place to read a book, paint a picture, or have a family picnic and let the kids run off some energy. There's something for everyone to appreciate. Number 2. Pamukkale Hot Springs the Turkish name of this natural wonder refers to the surface of the shimmering, snow-white limestone, shaped over millennia by calcium-rich springs. Pamukkale, meaning cotton castle in Turkish, is a natural site in southwestern Turkey. Legend has it that the formations are solidified cotton that giants left out to dry. And because it's considered a holy place, this area has been drawing the weary to its thermal springs for thousands of years. The area is famous for these carminate minerals left by the flowing water. Dripping slowly down the vast mountainside, mineral-rich waters foam and collect in terraces, spilling over cascades of stalactites into milky pools below. And it became a tourist hotspot for travelers worldwide, and a small community and economy formed around it. However, the hotels built on this delicate landmark in the 1960s have since been demolished as they were draining the thermal waters into the swimming pools. Since then, these resources are restricted in an effort to preserve the overall site and to allow deposits to regenerate. Still, this place is a tourist attraction and it's recognized as a World Heritage Site. Number 1. The Golden Rock of Myanmar Resting atop Mount Kyak Tio is one of the three most sacred religious sites in Myanmar and Burma. We think it should be number 1. The Kyak Tio Pagoda, aka the Golden Boulder, aka the Golden Rock of Myanmar, stands 24 feet tall. Massive and unbelievably heavy, the boulder rests on the edge of a cliff with more than half of its surface leaning out over open air. It's hard to fathom how that's even possible, but there it is. 
the boulder has become sacred among spiritual enthusiasts because, legend has it, the boulder remains in place because it's perfectly balanced on a strand of the Buddha's hair. On one of his many visits, Buddha gave a standoff of his hair to a hermit. The hermit gave the hair to the king, asking that it be enshrined in a boulder. The king found a place for this hair on top of this mountain, and there the hair and the boulder remained. Talk about a good hair day! There is a common belief amongst Buddhists in the area that if followers complete the pilgrimage to the Golden Rock three times in one year, they'll be blessed with great fortune. And so thousands of people make the journey each year to be blessed by the Golden Rock. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content from The Supreme.